Nice to meet you, mate. How's it going, YouTube? This is Levi from Bay Foils. We're here with Ben from Foil Drive. How are you doing? Quick, quick rundown is basically you're already into foiling or you want to get into foiling. You might have a blown out shoulder. You know, I just want to catch more waves, do anything like that. Um, you want a little, small, lightweight electric motor system on boards and gear that you've already got, you've already invested into the sport, and you can just bolt on a motor onto your gear. So not designed to be like a full-blown e-foil, just like super lightweight, paddle assist, help you get, get up on foil. Um, we've got adapters for, as of you, earlier this week, 90 of the different masks in the I, industry. I saw the list. Cute. Pretty much every brand is on there. Starboard, Gong, Lift. Yeah. Uh, like Kuma, the list Axis, goes, Armstrong, Armstrong. Armstrong. Lift. <laughs> it goes take on your, and on. Take your pick. Any of the weird, not weird, but exotic Euro stuff, yeah. like any of that. We built that out like just on, on, on demand. If somebody came to us, like at one point there was like five or six, and then there's 10, and then there's 20. Uh, yeah. And we just add them on, like people message and say, hey, can I have one for a gong carbon? And you're like, sure, like, get a trace of the mast. The pod is like the motor pod, we call it. It's just a friction fit onto the mast that so perfectly fits the mast profile. So that's what the adapters are, why there's 90 of them. And then, yeah, if you change gear or move on, you're riding Armstrong one year and you want to go to NFC or something, I don't know. You already said. Yeah. You've got the control in your hand. Like we've got, we've got paddle mounts so that you can put it on your on your paddle and things like that. So you can yeah. manipulate the control if you want to sup. Mm -hmm. You can then just pull this out, and it's a controller much more like your um, traditional your flightboard, skateboard so, controller, anything like that. For the pump, I've seen some yeah. videos of pump dudes. Yeah, and they just got just the control in your hand. Exactly. <laughs> so you pumping. get to do it in your own pace, and like even if you tow behind a boat and things like that, boat driver takes off, you're unbalanced, you fall off or he pulls, you know, doesn't pull hard enough and you mm -hmm. overtake it, run over the rope, whatever it may be. And one thing that we always talk about when we're talking about learning to fall too is like our motor position or the height up and down the mast, you can change, yeah. which is huge if you want a flat water, if you want a wing, if you're wanting to surf and it's big surf or little surf or whatever, you can move it and adjust it. Uh, if you're a brand new beginner to foiling yeah. and you want to learn, obviously, Flightboard is the way to go. <laughs> Takes no experience, no anything. You just hop on, hop on and go. You got yeah. the controller. Yeah. But foil drive is so cool is because not everybody has 12 grand to spend exactly, yeah. on a foil setup. Yeah. Whereas yeah. you can get a hand-me-down foil surfboard or wing board yeah. for like Five, what is it over here? Craig's, Craigslist or whatever. We've got yeah, Gumtree. Like, what, jump on, what is it? Gumtree. Gumtree. Oh, I so love jump it. Jump on Craigslist. Hey, well, we got gum trees all around here. There's this big, <laughs> I know. all the eucalyptus right over he there. stole them from us. <laughs> <laughs> They're gifted. Okay. In general, e foils of some description is probably the safest way to learn to foil. Yeah. There's heaps of foil gear online. Oh, super now. cheap. Like, and but, all your buddies got gear, you're like out here on the bay and your mates all wing. Yeah. And they've got some older gear that they started on. You can start with this and I mean like, yeah, the flyboards are amazing. They're, they're really cool tools. And again, another Aussie company. So we're like super yeah. proud to like, <laughs> exactly you know, we'll, always, we'll always hold them yeah. up. But, but it's hard, you know, yeah. for me, I have an ex extensive surf background. Yeah. So after, you know, a few e-foil sessions, I was able to hop on a regular foil surfboard yeah, yeah. and basically get it within a weekend just because my previous experience yeah but it's not the same for everyone exactly. some people don't have extensive surf experience but they want to get into it yeah and especially if you try winging yeah be honest i fail at winging <laughs> i cannot wing to save my life yeah wind sport is not my background yeah but you know, with the foil drive, it's amazing because you can get that extra assist mm -hmm. that you need to get on the foil. Yeah. Which for that's the hardest bit. That's 100%. the hardest bit to learn. And hundred percent. And like we were saying before, like I asked you how you learned to foil, and you're like, I just like manned up, jump in the surf, just like started paddling in and just see what happens. Yeah. And there's a guy locally. Uh, so I'm from Adelaide in Australia. There's a guy locally there that he's just, yeah, he's that older guy that's like, I've surfed for like 40 years. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do this and he's just get in and just do it. Yeah. And he's like, you know, all props to him. Again, hats off to yourself too for like, <laughs> like learning that way because I can't imagine. It's not 
really the way to, to go. Learn and, it, and take a lesson, guys. Do. Don't yeah. don't yeah. make the same mistake. Don't do it like that. Take some lessons. Yeah. Find some jump pros. Jump on an e-foil. Jump on a foil drive. Jump Hop on, on a, a foil board. It's actually pretty cool to like put the motor halfway, and then a student can't they can't breach the wing. Yeah. They cannot get the wing out of the water, and they can't roll the board over and land on the wing because the board only goes up. The motor breaches, they lose power. So it's actually pretty cool like that. And like, again, it's still much safer to learn on an e-fall, I think, than even a boat. And I think again, you can breach and really easy. And as a, you know, obviously as a, as a flight board guy, yeah. I'm gonna say buy a flight board. <laughs> but to be as just say water sports dude, yeah. surfer, yeah. foiler, stoke guy. Yeah. Foil drive is really having your cake and eating it too. It's pretty. Yeah. You have all the lightness. Cause yeah. like, I mean, you can lift one of these boards, like, yeah. what, seven uh, I, kilo? I've never weighed this full kit, but I think it's like 14, I think. So Four. being a sup though, it's a bigger sup and all yeah, that yeah. stuff, and an aluminium mast and all that kind of stuff. But you can get like a prone board yeah. or like a pump board exactly under under 10 kilo. Oh, for sure. Easily. 100%. We're yeah. using now, SI units here. You yeah. can do the conversion <laughs> in Google, sorry. Exactly. But, um, but I mean, our system weighs, so it's uh, 3.6 kilos, fully installed. Nothing. Like it's super light, yeah. super light. And the fact that you can take it off and reuse your gear, Yeah. or like you go out here winging one day and you use all this stuff, you just take the motor off, Yeah. and then you go out to the surf the next day. Or you if surf you're, in the morning and wing in the afternoon. You're on the whatever. lake, you're, exactly. you're a, a wake foiler, yeah. and you have 100%. a buddy who's like never done it before. Yeah. The foil drive just gives you that extra kind of uh, you know, safety net yeah. where you can motor back onto the wave. Exactly. And it's so much easier yeah. when you're at that sub 10 kilo point. 100%. Because even the flight board with the nano battery, yeah. we're still around like 22 to 25 kilos, mm -hmm. depending on which wing and everything, yeah. and which I is really heavy. You either have to go on a really fast moving mm -hmm. wake Keep or wave, yeah. or we're trying to surf head high. Yeah. And that's dangerous exactly i typically yeah. do not recommend <laughs> owners that i sell boards to to paddle out at yeah. ocean beach everything there's so many cool toys now to play with and, yeah. and that's exactly what this is yeah this is one toy a flight board's a different toy yeah neither of them are better or worse period they're just better at some things and that's better at some things so exactly like, we use the analogy i grew up mountain biking so it's like a flight board is like a dirt bike they're awesome super powerful Super long run time, An eater bike. blast around <laughs> wherever you want, yeah. And then a foil drive is more like an electric mountain bike. And you're not going to take a dirt bike on a mountain bike track. Yeah. They're different sports. There's two wheels and a set of handlebars that kind of look the same, basically the same thing. But you use them in very different ways it's, and you, you choose whole the right different, toy for what you're trying to do. whole Not different just. demo. What is the buy-in cost for a foil drive? So I'm going to play in Aussie dollars now because I know that off the top of my head. So it's 4,600 Aussie for the full kit and that's absolutely everything you need. From memory, I think that translates to about 3,500. Edit that on the bottom. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Put it, link in the description. <laughs> link in the description. <laughs> yeah, so about that 3,500 US yeah. is so off the top quarter, of my head. Something like you're, you're getting a beginner friendly vessel for a quarter of the price. But Obviously, again, it's, it's different things. It's, it's a different very thing. Different things. If you want to, if you watch a flight board video and go, that looks sick, but I want a cheaper one, yeah. don't buy a Ford. No, it's, it's not going to replace toy. the Stoke. It's the wrong toy. Because we're getting, you know, yeah. flight board run time is like one and a half hours. Exactly. You don't need yeah. any waves. You yeah. don't need any wind. Yeah. You know, you could do it on a lake, exactly. river, whatever. Yeah. We'll quote a flat water e-foil run time of like 25 to 40 minutes. Of, uh, on this? On this, yeah. With the Which motor, is not bad. Motor down the bottom. That's, that's honestly not bad. It's not too bad, but again, that comes with caveats. I'm 60 kilos, it's <laughs> super light. I've done a half an hour session on wow. a 2,000 square centimeter wing, cruising around really slowly, and I measured how much energy I put back in the battery when I got back, mm -hmm. and then I calculated and took some fudge factor, I would get well over an hour. Wow. But I'm cruising around at like stall speed on a 2200 square centimeter wing at 60 kilos. No one's gonna do that. No, that's no, not the that's point. not the point. That's not the point. So we will never quote, you but, can get an hour runtime flat water. But I can. For comparison, I've tried the 1800 yeah. cruiser jet yeah. for flight board yeah. with the nano battery, their smallest one. Yep. And it's about the same. Yeah. I got, I came back at around 10% left, 45 minutes. Yeah. So, so the other extreme of like with the four drive, if anyone, doesn't matter who it is, whether you're 
200 pounds or my size, if you hold the trigger full throttle the whole time, yeah. this will be flat in like 18 minutes. Yeah. 16, 17, 18 minutes, somewhere there, because it's not what it's designed for. No, no. It's not meant to run like that. What this is really good at in a surf scenario, jump in the water, it's 400, 500 meters or feet or however far away to get, get out break. there and you cruise out slowly. On like, we've got a cruise control function, dial it up to like 35% and just cruise out and you're going twice as fast as you can paddle and yeah. you just sit there and I don't know, watch the waves come in and get stoked. Yeah, exactly. And then you use full <laughs> throttle to get up, but it's like a 10 second run time. Yeah. Like full throttle, boop, up and then you surf and then you come off and if you're learning to pump or whatever you can pump as far as you can you can then sort of if there's another set coming and you didn't quite make the link in that mm -hmm. this is a prone surf or sub surf type environment you could like drop down low put the motor pod back in the water and e-foil into it and then turn and, then and you're go set. or you come back to a rest and you either paddle out or sup out or whatever so again i was out this morning we're out for like 50 odd minutes and i came back in with uh, like 50% battery. Mm -hmm. Last night I was out for an hour and a half and I came in with 50% battery. Very different conditions, different yeah. places. One had really good consistency. I could pump and link, pump and link. Oh geez, my legs are tied. E-foil, link, come back. Oh, all right, yeah. I'll, I'll take it easy now and I'll cruise on out. So it really depends on how you use it. So ultimately at the end of the day, you know, whether you're using uh, like a Flightboard Ultra and a Nano battery, you know, I'm I'm easing off power when uh, I'm surfing, yeah, and I'm using the motor to get back into the to the takeoff spot. Exactly, yeah. I use a lot of battery and need that bigger battery, yeah. because it's so heavy, yeah, and it becomes a runaway freight train. Well, I need more power to keep the board That's exactly up. That's what we were talking about before, yeah, yeah. More battery, and it just makes the craft heavier and heavier. It makes it so much easier, especially as a beginner. Yeah, if you have limited surf experience and you have a hard, just the takeoff is the hardest part on Definitely. the wave. Definitely, 100%. Having that lighter craft. And being able to move out away from the white water. You don't have to You don't have to catch water. it by the, yeah, exactly. You, you don't have to catch right it. You move right out into the fat. You fat can catch it on the, the shoulder. Yep. Yeah, you're not, because that was the, the first time I tried uh, sup foiling in Sano. Yeah. All the guys there, you know, Catch it in the white water, catch the white water. Because that's where you got exactly all that push. Where you don't want to be on a foil. No, you, you do not want to be anywhere near you, it. You're catching yeah. the board and then you got to pump it up in yeah. the wash where yeah. it's all aerated, you're yeah. losing power. Super turbulent. Super hard, yeah. especially yeah. like, again, yeah. lifelong surfer. Yeah. I, I'd like to think I'm good <laughs> and I have some good balance. Yeah. It was hard. Yeah. Versus if I could catch it, on the shoulder mm -hmm. where it's super and smooth. get up to speed, that's the hardest thing. Foiling's all about speed. Got to get foil speed up so that it's creating lift. Exactly. And if you can do that before the wave even gets to you and then the wave picks you up and you carry it so off much in smooth safer. water. Yeah. So much safer. Heaps easier. So and you're away from fun. crowds. I'm from Australia, it's pretty quiet. <laughs> pretty quiet, especially in Adelaide, like the East Coast is busier for sure. Yeah. When I've been over here for the last few days, oh, oh man. <laughs> you taking a drive Reality down check. Santa Cruz? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reality check. Welcome, welcome to my world. <laughs> Paddle out with a hundred of your closest hundred dudes. friends. Yep, Whereas yep. we're like, oh, there's like six guys here, we'll move to a different spot. <laughs> oh, I don't want to hear that, this makes me jealous. Man. So, it almost has become its own discipline in a way because it's like, well, that's the foil drive spot. Yeah. You can't paddle into that, it's no. not breaking. No one's winging because there's no wind and it's a perfect lump rolling through a bay. And there's no way you can get onto it unless you're on a jet ski. But once you're on the foil, it's totally Sweet. manageable. Exactly, mm -hmm. 100%. So that kind of leads into like downwinding is a big craze now, I guess, if you were to extend off the back of surfing. It's challenging. It's, it's more than challenging. It's really, really hard. We tried uh, a, a while ago, Mike and I. Yeah. Um, we tried downwinding, and he's a much better paddler than I am. Right. I focus more on the surf yeah. stuff, yeah. but he's a you know he comes from open water, like ocean kayaking, white water. You know, he's yeah. been white water kayak guy for 15 plus years. That's, yeah. He's a strong paddler. Yeah. And, you know, he was on a, a, a appropriate size board, like a hundred liter yeah. for stand up yeah. downwinding. Yeah. 2400 yeah. A plus system. Yeah. And just our wind, our wind here on the bay, well, on the bay. Yeah, yeah. It's not really like Maui level quality. Mm -hmm. And so like, 
you know, we can downwind paddleboard pretty good and yeah. catch the bumps. Yeah, and yeah. No problem. But getting up on a 14-foot paddleboard. Exactly. exactly. But on the foil, yeah. man, it was a challenge. Yeah. But if you watch like Kai Lenny, mm -hmm. Zane, like those guys out in Maui that do the downwinding, yeah. it's so cool. Oh, yeah. It's, and, and that's and, like... And I downwind on this board. This is yeah. technically a wing board. Yeah. I have one setup. This is it. I've got a bunch of foils. And, and I've with got the one foil setup. drive, you yeah. can do anything. And I can flat water pump, I can wing on it, I can surf on it, I can downwind on it. Like, take your pick. So I'll take two. <laughs> <laughs> so a little tiny history lesson on me. Yeah. I have not, I've never paddled a surfboard in my life. I've never, never paddled out into the surf. Oh ever. yeah? <laughs> I've never done wind sports. Me I've never either. done anything. I jumped straight into foiling. I fly model airplanes, so flying, foils, cool. Yep. Really outdoorsy person, ride mountain bikes and all that kind of stuff and do a lot of camping and Australia, it's surf. Like, it was always gonna happen at some point. It's island, And yeah. this has been the perfect amalgamation of, it's always when you're filming, isn't it? Yeah. It's always when you're filming. Always when we're filming. Yeah. Especially like the important part. Oh, 100%. <laughs> I did my first downwind run six months after learning to foil in Adelaide, which is definitely not wow. Maui. <laughs> wow. And I sucked at it. Well, yeah. I have no ocean reading skill. <laughs> no wave, like visual. Even like surfing, like I was just shit scared of white water. So that's, I just automatically went to the side. To because the shoulder. I'm, yeah. I'm not used to duck diving and I was on big sups and foils and I was just not used to the ocean. Even still now, like beach breaks and trying to get out through the white water, I'm like pretty it's timid. A challenge. Because yeah. I'm just, I, I didn't grow up as a grom, like, Jumping surfing. in and out of the yeah, out of the water and surfing. So And I I feel like the majority of foilers, like people who are getting into the stoke, yeah. don't have that same level of like I grew up in ocean surfing exactly. ocean beach, San Francisco. Foiling has got such a wide <laughs> funnel of people who find yeah. it interesting and want to get into Which it. Which is what makes it so cool. Exactly. Like, so yeah, the downwinding, like I am by no means a Kai Lenny downwinder. I can I get mean. myself from point A to point B with the motor. <laughs> but like my first downwinder was 14 kilometers and I probably did yeah. 50 or 60 starts and I got a handful of long things and I was like chasing bumps when I should have been turning and turning, pumping yeah. and whatever. And I'm pumping my ass off trying to stay up when I really should have just turned and put on something. Cut out, yeah. James Casey has been like, go and check out his downwind course because it's incredible. Link in the description. Yeah. Without this tool or the other tool is a wing, which is sitting here probably out of frame, but <laughs> a wing ding, freaking annoying piece of fabric when you get good enough that you're flagging it and trying mm -hmm. to just downwind and then it's in your face and it's all over the place. There, you got to know what to do with yeah. it. And it's, and it's an you're awesome not, tool and yeah. so many people get into downwinding from winging and that's, it's epic. Mm -hmm. But this is just a different way of doing it because the sup paddling is really hard, yeah. really hard. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> we, we come from a surf background and like our, myself and Paul who started foil drive, he's definitely a surfer, he's had blown out shoulders. He built electric surfboards. So because we're kind of more surf orientated, we never thought people would want to use a four drive winging at all. Like wow. just period. We're like, why would you bother? You've got all this wind, you've got this massive big sheet. Yeah. You've got heaps of energy, why do you need it? And that's where we then, like by customers buying them and using them and whatever, we discovered that like light wind winging, so you don't need to buy an eight meter wing. You can Especially if you're a short guy, like yeah. short kings in the audience know, An eight it's meter hard. Wing. Like you're clipping yeah, the water. Exactly. I, I tried, I tried the winging. Yeah. I failed at it. Put like 40 hours into it, and I followed all the steps. I got, I had that big ass wing. Yeah. I was on a super floaty board, the big foil. Yeah. And it's, it's hard. Yeah. It, and especially if you got shoulder, shoulder industries. Issues, yeah. It's not. It is so not the, the way. The light wind winging was a surprising one. Yeah. Where we're like, okay, that actually kind of makes sense. Like we're not really super into it, but yeah. that makes perfect sense. Safety. <laughs> Walk of shame. Sucks. I did that once at Motor Crown Beach. Never Motor back again. Up. And then like even like a few winging like uh, schools and stuff like that. You know, they've started using them and like saying to the student, here's the controller. Like yeah. turn it off, stuff it in your wedge. If you get blown down wind, just pull it out, flag the wing, lie on the board and just motor back to us. It's, it, all good. it's super safe. So yeah. that was pretty cool. And then like I was telling you before, like guys just going out on basically dead still days and e-foiling around with the wing in their hand. Yeah. And then turning and working out, oh, uh, oh, right, like that. Yeah, okay, I get it. 
And then they go out in a light wind day where they can't pump up, but then they can e-foil up, and they're like, okay, here's, the, oh, there's the power, gotcha. And it's you have Again, your built-in safety net too. Super unexpected, but yeah. it's so cool. And now guys are using these on little prone boards, they're putting the box at the front. All this gear is like modular, and you just take it on and off if you want it, if you don't. Um, yeah, so we're starting to do some partnerships now with some other foil brands and building gear into masts and into boards and that kind of stuff. So yeah. it's uh, only the beginning, I think, but yeah, pretty cool. But again, it's all these just different toys. A yeah. wing, a motor, a lightweight motor, a paddle. flight board, a paddle, a prone board, it. a sup. Like, take your pick. Jump off a bloody dock. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, a Macca's tray. <laughs> like, there's so many different ways you I can wish enjoy I was this. a better pump foiler yeah. because those pump videos get lots of views. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and jumping off a duck is really, dock is really hard. <laughs> but e foiling up drop? and then pumping away. Yeah. Not, yep. as, not as bad. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Anyway, let's wrap cool. it up, I reckon. Yeah, appreciate you being out here, so speaking much, with us. Great to meet you. We'll put more info in, in the description. Yeah. If you have more questions, you'll find all of their info there. Uh, make sure to check you out at- and Go get a lesson at, uh, you know, go get a flyboard lesson. Take a lesson. Get into foiling. Bay Sick. Foils. Yeah. We are the California's number one. Yeah, I said it. California's nice. number one flight e-foil lesson school. Yeah, and, and we're all over socials. We've got the website, YouTube, all that kind of stuff, so. Cool. Check it out if it's something that interests you, and if not, that's cool. Perfect. So many toys. <laughs> well, appreciate you. If you made it to the end, like and subscribe. Put hashtag foil drive in the comments, <laughs> and uh, see you on the water. Sweet. Shoo. Cheers, guys. Cool. Wicked. It's probably longer than you wanted, but. Oh, uh oh. People watch this shit. People they eat love this. it. I'm gonna keep this in there. People oh, eat yeah. this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> no, they love it. Like